Hi guys, this is not a pre-recorded video. I know for some of you seeing me back aboard my own boat is gonna come as a bit of a surprise because after all I was supposed to be crossing the Atlantic aboard Fiona right now. Those of you who have been following along on my Facebook page know that I jumped ship in the Canary Islands about a week ago. Fair warning, this video might be a little bit short because I'm still not feeling 100% but at the same time I wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why I decided to end my stay aboard Fiona prematurely. A few hours after Fiona leaving Keshkes in Portugal, I got seasick. I've only ever really, really been seasick on a couple of occasions, but there's no doubt that this was seasickness. So I was expecting to start feeling better after a couple of days, like most people normally do. But that just didn't happen. Instead, I was sick for the entire five and a half days we spent on the trip from Keshkesh to Lagamora in the Canary Islands. Now I have no idea what was wrong with me. It might have been that I got some sort of food poisoning in combination with the seasickness or it might just have been seasickness, I don't know. But what I do know is that by the time we got to the Canary Islands I was weak, I was dehydrated and I wasn't feeling good about the trip across the Atlantic. But speaking of seasickness, I actually felt pretty well prepared because I was wearing one of these patches here and I'd even tried one of these on before leaving Denmark just to make sure that I wouldn't have any kind of odd side effects. But for me personally, these seem to do absolutely nothing. Uh, I, get, I guess the good news there is that there are no side effects, but then again, there's no relief from seasickness either. So I decided to jump ship, and honestly I had a few different reasons for wanting to get off the boat. Now does this mean that uh, my dream of becoming a full-time cruiser is dead? No, absolutely not. The dream is still very much alive. This is nothing but a minor bump in the road. I will adapt and I will overcome. Am I disappointed that I didn't get to cross the Atlantic this time? Well, sure, but I'm actually more disappointed that I let you guys down. I know a lot of you guys were really looking forward to the videos from this trip. And, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. I don't regard the uh, time I spent aboard Fiona as a waste of time. I did learn a few things, both uh, during the week I spent aboard Fiona in Portugal before we pushed off, and also on the 700 miles we sailed down to the Canary Islands. I want to thank all of you guys who sent me messages or emails just to make sure that I was okay or to check in, and uh, well, I really appreciate those, and uh, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Now, unfortunately, my computer died on me during the trip, so uh, I've only just gotten back online, but as soon as I've uploaded this video, I'll uh, start replying to messages and emails. On a slightly more positive note, it's still very early, but uh, I have something very exciting in the works. Now, I don't want to go into detail, because it's still a little bit too early to do that, but it's something that might even be more exciting than crossing the Atlantic aboard Fiona. In the long-standing tradition of this channel, I'm going to end this video on a cliffhanger simply by saying more about that later. See you! Jukul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more videos like it, click subscribe. Please consider leaving a comment and a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot and I appreciate your support very much. If you're new to the channel, please check out the introduction playlist. If you want to watch every single video I've ever published, check out the playlist named All Videos. It contains every single video listed in chronological order.